Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 19, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have dropped quite significantly today. So it was expected for this to rally, but it completely turned around towards the 20 exponential. And we basically staying right at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators, they have all, merely all of them turned around. MACD has turned around, the CCI has turned around, and so has the RSI, while the stochastic is still bullish at this point. So we're trading above the 20, or right at the 20, and above the 50. So this is more likely to rally than to break below this area. If we break below the 50, that opens the door to these previous lows at 19.06. So let's look at oil. So oil has finally found some resistance up all the way up here at um, 62.17. So at this point, I think that we are going to run into a major wall around this area here. So this area is uh, 56.45. So this is where we basically topped before uh, the coronavirus. This is the very top here, and then we collapse to basically minus um, levels in the in the contracts. So we also top over here. This is back in 2019, in April 2019, and uh, we just basically fell off a cliff. So from 65 all the way down to roughly 50. So as you can see, we are here in the range of rough, around 10 to 15 dollars give or take. So around the $15. And this is probably what we are going to see back over here. That we're going to rally up towards the 50, uh, $65 range. And then we are just going to have a massive drop by similar to this, around $15. That is probably what is going to happen. This move doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Half of this is vaccine news. The other half is pure speculation that we are basically expecting things to go back to normal and so on. And when prices are getting to these kind of levels, you will see rigs that have been uh, been on hold. They will start um, producing again. The supply will increase and you will see a drop in the price of oil. That is uh, almost a guarantee that that will happen. But that is, this is basically what I'm expecting to happen in the oil market. Very similar to what we saw here, that we're going to trade in between uh, 65 and probably 50. So very lows here, which I will offer support, and the highs here that will offer resistance. It doesn't mean that we'll, we can't go to 66 or 67. It is just that only means that when we get to those levels, it will become significantly um, overbought and... Uh, people will start selling at those points. At the moment, we're still at, at 73, so we're still overbought, even though we have this pullback of over 2% today. So we found support here at around $60. Uh, we could fall even further down towards the 20 exponential, around uh, $57 before heading towards 65. So let's look at natural gas. So this market... Uh, has really surprised me. So weather conditions, for example, in the United States are horrible uh, when, it, uh, when considering how cold it is. And usually when that happens, this goes absolutely parabolical, similar to what basically happened here. So you cannot say that these moves here have been the same, similar to this. That is not the case. So so whether or not we, we will see that, that is probably very unlikely depending on how long this lasts uh, so when if demand um, goes through the roof then yes then we'll see similar moves like this and probably moves like that but that is not what we're seeing at the moment but if we look at the fibonacci retracement take it from all the way here we can see that we will we'll run into major resistance around 3.2182 and Yes, we may go towards that level there. If we get close to that, it will be massive resistance and we'll, pu we'll push back towards the 20 exponential, the 50, 
or even the 200 moving average. I don't think that we're going to cross that level there. And that also means that we'll probably not cross this level of the previous highs here at 3.3886. So let's look at copper. Copper had an, an, another massive day today. We're trading at uh, 3.9. Target here is 4. So at this point, we are getting very overstretched. Uh, we are at 74 in the RSI. Technical indicators are still very bullish. So we could uh, continue higher. It just means that we'll have uh, a move similar to that to the 20 exponential or the 50. Um, so yes, copper has had a massive move all the way from the bottom here to the upside. This would have been a trade of, uh, of a lifetime if you entered uh, at around this area or around this area here and just held it all the way to the top here. You're not going to see this often in your lifetime. But it is continuing. Pullbacks towards the 20 on the 50. There are major buying opportunities in, in this at this point. But 4 is the target here at this point. So let's look at gold. Yes, we just continue going lower. We did rally today and then just broke down. There is little or no appetite for gold at this point, but this is a very interesting um, support level. So this is also where we found support back here. This was basically in the beginning of the December last year, and this is also where we find the support now. So this could mean that we will turn around, head towards the 20 or even the 50 moving average. We have a uh, significant trend line down here that we have to break which i'm pretty sure it won't break and then we have another support line going down here it is at this point more likely that we will rally towards the 20 and then break towards the 17 um 1750 or even to, even to 1700 technical indicators are well bearish at this point so yes gold is in a downtrend People are uh, putting their money into Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. Uh, it looks like uh, instead of putting money into gold in these days. So let's look at silver. So silver has pulled back to the 20 exponential. We are, it is almost setting up for a buy because the 20 has been very supportive. Even if you drop below the 20, then the 50 is underneath and that is even more supportive. So we are probably see a grind to the upside towards the $30 here. The technical indicators are looking very bearish, so we could actually see this break the 20 towards the 50, but I don't think we're going to drop below 50. So pullbacks are buying opportunities at this point. Long-term target is $30. So let's look, uh, let's look at Platinum. There. So we are basically all over the place here. We had this massive rally to the upside towards uh, 1318, broke down again towards the 1221 uh, level, and then we rallied today. Technical indicators are looking very bullish. We're on the edge of being overbought, so this should have basically fallen even further towards the 1200, something like give or take. Then it will have a chance to rally above these previous highs when we get there now we'll probably be at so high rsi level that is just it won't have the momentum enough so at this point pull back towards the 20 or the 4 1200 level that is the buying opportunity let's look at at the uh, pallium sorry Yes, as you can see, we are trading within this uh, square of the highs of 2.5 and the lows of roughly 2.2, and we're right in the middle of things. And usually I don't trade things that are right in the middle of the top and the lows uh, because it's much easier to sell it here or to buy it here. We could stay in this area for a while, as we have seen over here and also here. Um, it will break towards the upside or break towards the downside. At the moment, momentum is to the downside. As you can see, the technical indicators are all pointing to lower levels. That means that we could head towards the 200 moving average, roughly at 2.231 before heading back up. So let's look at aluminium. 
So aluminium uh, jumped um, higher today, rallied, and then broke down quite significantly. Probably the reason for this is because it's getting ridiculously overstretched and also overbought. So we can just see we are way outside of the bullish band, even after we have this uh, drop from the highs of uh, 2.150. Taking indicators, they are bullish, but you can see the stochastic is really turning around here. It is expected to fall back to, uh, to uh, 2100. Break below that opens the door to the 200 moving average or these previous highs here. Uh, roughly, they probably won't go lower than uh, uh, 2021. So we are significantly overbought. So expect this to fall um, tomorrow as well. Yes, so let's look at nickel. So as you can see, we have rallied above the 50, the Bollinger Band. So we're getting very overstretched here. We're at 72 in the, R, in the RSI. Technical indicators are very bullish. So yes, most of these uh, commodity, uh, these precious metals, uh, they will have a hard time rallying further. So they will pull back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band or these previous highs here. So that is around 18,000. 18,267, give or take, before going higher from here. So let's look at sugar. So even sugar is just going parabolic. You see how far we're outside of the bullish bound. The last time we were outside was basically here, and then we fell to the middle. Also here we fell to the bottom, and here fell to the middle. So expect, uh, uh, expect a major pullback to buy it at this level here, is uh, is ridiculous and as we are in an uptrend pullbacks towards uh, support is the way to trade to uh, to start shorting this yes you could earn um, some uh, a few bucks out of it but still it can fall and then completely turn around and then you can get stuck in your short and uh, there is basically no way out from there in, in except for basically selling so technical indicators are very bullish. We're on the edge of being over a bot. So yes, pullbacks are buying opportunities when you need a massive pullback at this point. So let's look at cotton. So also here, we are outside of the bullish band. We are pulling back a little bit. We are trading at 0 0.8995. Technical indicators are turning around. We are significantly over bot. So uh, expect the pullback. If you can get all the way down here towards the 0 0.8485, uh, that is as far as this will go in the short run. We won't get down there. Probably here is where we'll get to. So let's look at Kakoa. So this continues to uh, trade underneath uh, the 200 moving average. And um, as long as that is the case, we're going to see these moving averages cross and we will rally up towards the 20 and then pull back and so on and so on. So at this point, it looks like we are going to go significantly lower. We're going to head towards 2.250 before finding uh, some kind of support here. Um, technical indicators are turning around. So rallies up towards the 200, the, uh, 200 moving average or the, the um, 20 exponential. That is basically selling opportunity at this point. So let's look at wheat. So also wheat had a massive day today. Um, this is probably due to weather conditions in the United States. There is not going to be um, a lot of supply when weather conditions are like this. So so that could be a the um, explanation why we saw the wheat uh, rise by. Three, more than 3% today. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point, so we may see this go even further. Uh, however, we are on the top of the Bollinger Band. There's a lot of room to the upside in our size, so we could, if a pullback gets here, then that, that is probably a buying opportunity. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.